pay for these things as a woman, you're still single. Number one is your hair. This only doesn't apply if he met you when your hair was not done. Number two is food because human beings eat every single day. Some of us multiple times a day. So even if I said I wasn't hungry earlier, I'm definitely gonna be hungry later. Don't be stupid. Number three is your nails because all men hate raggedy nails. I've heard it from every single man I know. Number four is shopping, clothes, shoes, bags, those type of things because fashion builds self-esteem. And if he really cares about you, he would want you to have high self-esteem. Skincare like facials and makeup because duh. Any type of fitness class like a gym pass or Pilates, that's his responsibility. If he wants you to drive anywhere and meet him, he must be paying for gas. And that's just if you guys are dating. But if you guys are in a serious relationship, make sure your bills are being paid. I know some ladies will disagree with me. And if you are living the struggle life or if you would like to live the struggle life, that is purely up to you. I will not fight you on it, sweet. She said all that is when y'all just talking and the bills come in when y'all dating. So you paying for her hair, her nails. That's for, for talking? The talking stage? The talking stage? I can look, look, look. If I have a girl, I did that for my, my past relationship. I just spent, you know, for the hair and stuff like that. That comes with some of it. Like, you know, you don't overspend, but you do it. That's your girl. You know, that's that, that comes with it. Like, you don't, if I got the braid for, I'm going to do it sometime. You know, she want to look nice, you know, presentable. But to a, a, a girl I'm talking to, like I don't know this girl like that. We're just talking. You paying for hair, nails, gas, all this. You crazy. You crazy. You crazy. She better be the wife. She better be the, the real girlfriend, the serious, serious girlfriend. Ain't no way. Talking stage. I always wonder what do women feel like they should be doing in the talking stage. I always wonder that. Like, what do women feel like is acceptable for them to do in this talking stage? Like, what do women say? I bring this to the table when it comes to this talk, just the talking stage. Because if she's saying a guy does all that, pay for her hair, her nails, all this extra, put gas in her car, talking stage. What does she do for the guy on the talking stage? I always wondered that. Well, like, what is the talking stage for women? Is it just like, I'm just around? I'm feminine. I'm quiet. You know, I'm just good conversation. That's the talking stage for women. Like, that's what y'all feel like. That's what y'all should bring to the table. You know, I always wanted to ask that question, but that's crazy. That's crazy. To do all that for just talking stage? That's wild. I could never. 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 But if y'all like that, I love it. Y'all go ahead and do what y'all do. I'm not for it. I'm not for it. Y'all like it. I love it. Go ahead. <clears throat> but thank you guys for tuning in. I forgot to say, I should have said in that video, but when the lady was big, I also wanted to let y'all know when a, when a woman is big, it's the same thing of um, a guy being broke. I was equate them to the same thing. When she said she had a glow up, she had a glow up, so she became everybody wanted her. That's the same thing when a man becomes successful. When you become the one percent guy, you you know get all that money, your whole life change. Women are all over you, everybody staring at you. That's the same thing as a woman getting from big to like real nice and no no surgery, just real nice. Worked on herself, got to the gym. The same thing when guys are all obsessed, like you look beautiful, you look great, and stuff like that. It's the same thing a man that goes from broke to successful. Everybody wants that person. Those are the two things. A broke woman still get the same love out here, even if she have money or not. But I was equate like a big woman to a broke man. A big woman is the same thing as a broke man. Both of them can get intimacy, but it's hard to keep a relationship. Both of them can get intimacy, but it's hard to keep a relationship because people question them all the time. A successful person is the same thing as a beautiful woman. Their value in the market is the same thing. They get a lot of attention. It's not easy to date them, but they can always get suitors. They can always get suitors. That attractive woman can always get suitors. That rich man can always get suitors. That big woman and that broke man, they're the same thing. But like, comment, subscribe, guys. Thank you for tuning in. Let's call it. Yeah. I know y'all expected me to come on this app and talk about the article. I chose not to come on this app and talk about the article, right? There's no need to. We've been saying this, right? But it really just like, I just saw my, my good sis video and I'm sitting here like, yo, they are really in an uproar because all we're asking them to be is like, all we're asking is that they're not being psychopathic. All we're asking is they not be narcissists. All we're saying is, hey, I'm just not going to be involved with the narcissistic ones. I'm just not going to be involved with the, the psychopathic ones. The let me know, guys, if you knew women were dating psychopaths. Let me know, guys, if you knew these women were dating psychopaths. Like, 
I don't know if this is the imagination talking or this is real out here. I did not know women were dating psychopaths out here. I did not know this. I did not know this information. I'm so serious. I did not. I know they'd be speaking on narcissists, narcissists, but I never knew it went to psychopaths. I did not know women was out here. If that's the case, they're getting worse at picking. I did not know this information. It's the mean ones, the abusive ones. And they're in an uproar. But y'all, when you, everybody always talk abusive ones. And they, all we're saying is, hey, I'm just not going to be involved with the narcissistic ones. I'm just not going to be involved with the, the psychopathic ones, the mean ones, the abusive ones. And they're in an uproar. But y'all, when you, everybody always talking about um, trying to get back to the kind of love our grandparents had. But when our grandmothers tell the story of how they got with these men, the men just decided they was going to be married and they was married. The men was predatory. Okay, let's talk about it. Because I just, hmm. uh, y'all are really. Did she say they're promoting women to date abusive guys and all this crazy psychopath guys? When has this been a promotion? Who, who, who promotes this? Guys, I keep up with some of the, the red pill conversation and other guys' platforms. I just want to see what's going on. And I watch other women content too, creators who make content like this. So I ain't never heard nobody pushing an agenda for women to date abusive guys. W let me know if I'm missing something on social media. Because I ain't never heard a conversation where they say, go date the abusive guys or the psychopath. I ain't never heard that being, especially by guys. I ain't never heard guys push women to date psychopath and abusive guys. I ain't never heard that conversation. I ain't never heard. Let me know, guys, because I am I'm so lost. I ain't never heard that conversation because I'll be damned before I follow any platform or hear about guys saying go date abusive guys or psychopath. That's crazy. The We have to ask, what are these women watching? We legit have to ask, what are these women? What we have to ask, what are they? Chose not to come. You see this comment right here? This comment is why black men have gotten away with mistreating and abusing black women for centuries. Because you guys take pride in being strong black women who carry the progression of this community on your backs while these men do nothing, right? And they rely on referencing black men from the past as doing something for our community. Black men, how does it feel to be comfortable? How dare you disrupt oh my, my pain? Yes. Black men, how does it feel to be comfortable resting on Black women's strength? You guys are supposed to be the strong ones in the community, and yet here you are. In these times, we need strong Black women. We already have them. And what are they getting from y'all? Nothing. Shut up and go away. And I'm not done, because I love the cognitive dissonance. I love the delusion. I love that Black men think that Black women could ever be the weaker link. Could ever. Are you kidding me? Stop. Stop playing yourself, Curtis. You look and sound stupid. Guys, I'm not going to make this one long. It's going to be short. I have a platform, not a crazy big one. I have a platform, though, and I see comments. If I see it disrespectful, I just remove it. If I see it talking crazy, I remove it. But I also use common sense when somebody writes something to me and I'm like, is this true or false? I don't know what in what world or what way can she not. She hear a black man saying we need black women to be strong in our community, like, you know, be strong and hold. When, when has she's saying black women had I, I, I never understand this narrative where they say black women have been carrying the black community in their back for the longest. And then. This man is saying we need more strong black women. He could be trolling. He can honestly be trolling. Honestly be trolling. I don't. I don't get how women can just conduce that. There's some, there's some comments you don't you don't have to validate. There's comments in my comment section that I would never validate. I'll never entertain. I'll just move on. Like we're not promoting black women to be strong. We're not promoting that. We are promoting black women to be accountable and picking better. That's all we promote. Black women to be accountable and pick better. That's it. I'm not promoting black women to be strong. I ain't never promote that. And I don't know how women will read a comment section on some on their platform and be like, black men are promoted. When have we promoted this? When have we promoted this? When do we promote black women be strong out here? Black women promote they want to be strong out here. We don't promote this. 
like sometimes they gotta use their common sense we're not promoting black women to be strong we're not promoting this and every comment you get lady you gotta understand you gotta use your brain think about it think about it think about it there's no man out here and if he's saying think about this the the sad thing about it at the end of the video she said how could we be considered a weaker said black women can be considered weak he's not saying y'all weak then you should be agreeing with him since he said y'all strong but she's out here mad at him for saying that we we've been doing everything for y'all and stuff like that she's a single mother she's a single and i don't understand why it's like he's saying that black women are strong they carry everything she goes on to say I never understand how a black man could think that we're the weaker one and stuff like oh man think we're the weaker one. He just said y'all strong. Why are you agreeing with him? I mean, why are, why are you disagreeing with him then? You shouldn't disagree with him. You should be agreeing with him. Because I never promote black women are should be strong or this, this, and that. No, I don't promote that. I don't promote that. But I, I need these women to when they read their comment sections to think about it. Just think about it. And then think about what you say. Watch your video. Because I mess up my videos. I'm not gonna lie to you. Spelling can be wrong sometimes. I stutter on some words sometimes. I mess up. I catch myself, but it got to make sense, guys. It got to make sense. I don't know who told black women to be strong. I ain't never told black women to be strong. You know, I, I'm going to keep promoting this. We're better together than apart. We're better together than apart. And stop listening to ignorant people on your social medias. We're better together than apart. Every comment section you get, you don't got to read every single comment, ladies. Every comment you get. You don't gotta read every single comment. Like, com like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> Disrupt my peaceful women's history month with this nonsense.